Did you know that you can actually level up your calligraphy skills with just regular pens? Hello brush friends! My name is Maricar and I'm a lettering artist based in the Philippines. Most of the people know me as 7 Brush Strokes and that's the name I go by with most of my social media art accounts. When I first started learning how to flourish, I thought that it was just simply adding swashes in and out of the words and then that's it. But when I actually look at my work, I felt like it wasn't really the result that I am after. So I took several classes to really improve my skills. Though calligraphy is beautiful in its nature, it can still be improved. And that's exactly what flourishing does to our works. It turns a basic calligraphy into an eye-catching work of art. To help you understand better what flourishing is, let's take a look at this example. This one is the basic letter G written in calligraphy. If you want to make it look prettier and fancier, you've probably seen this kind of letter G a lot on Instagram or Pinterest. This is the flourished version of the letter G. Flourishing is basically just a term to add decorations to your calligraphy. It can take a word from basic to impressive with just some few extra curves and loops, but it can also make the piece look awful if overdone. Remember to keep in mind the legibility of the word when adding your flourishes. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to make your flourishing look pleasant and elegant. There are certain areas in letters or words that would give us the best opportunity to add flourishes, and these are the ascending stem loops, the descending stem loops, the underturns, and the crossbar of letter T. On the next videos, we're going to break down each of these places where you can add your flourishes. Okay, now let's try the word congratulations. I'll write it on basic style first to show you how you can examine where to put flourishes. This word gives us a lot of opportunities to add flourishes. Let's take a look where to add them. So we have the sending stem loop for the letter G. Then let's take this A and add an underline flourish to complement the flourish in G. I also want to add an extender flourish which works best at the end of the word. So let's add it to the letter S. I have two crossbars here, so let's vary their style. Let's try to attach the flourishes. This one, I'm going to take up the space around here to balance it to my descender flourish. And here, I'll just create a simple curve so it won't distract the dot of my letter I. I feel like there's something missing in this space, so let's go and add flourish on our letter C. After planning the flourishes on the word, take a look at its overall composition and see if there are still spaces that you need to fill in. So like this space in here, I think that I need to balance it with my extender flourish on the S, so I'm going to add entry flourish like this. Overall, we have 7 flourishes added in this word. It's up to you where you want to add your flourishes, but as for me, I'm pretty satisfied with the way I planned the flourishes.